Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. For this review, I'm going to take a look at the New York Comic Con exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Eastman and Lard Villains 4-Pack by Nika Toys. I really like the design of this 4-Pack packaging. It's got really lovely artwork in the front. It's good enough to be displayed as is, but you can actually open the lid and check out the figures inside. And on the inside of the lid, there is even more artwork. Again, it's good enough to be framed. And here's the top of the box and the side of the box. And on the back, you've got photography of the figures inside. Although you don't actually get this many, but it's nice to see a whole set like this. With the other box removed, you can see there's actually an inside tray which has the comic style background which is quite nice you can use this as your display for the figures as well and the figures inside um, the weapons are held in by tape and the figures are held in by twisty ties with this set you get quite a lot of accessories so let's start with the foot elite um, first of all he gets this weapon I didn't know what it was called so I had to look it up and apparently it's called the Pudal which is like a uh, long staff broadsword weapon and then he also gets a little dagger which is quite ornate and he gets a pair of weapon holding hands and moving on to the foot soldier um, he gets a regular dagger a pair of weapon holding hands and a katana and you also get an Ultram figure I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Krang or just a regular Ultram dude Oops. and then with the other for soldier you basically get the same katana same weapon holding hands but the, uh, the dagger is slightly different in design and then moving on to Shredder he gets a pair of weapon holding hands a ninja star which is quite pointy and he gets one of these I'm not sure what this is called again so but it's like a a dagger on one end and the handle on the other connected by chains and this is real metal chain so that's pretty cool now just quickly show you the part swapping these are brand new out of the box so they are a little bit tight Ooh. okay so that's the hand off and then plug it in the plastic isn't like the Marvel Legends, it's a little bit stiffer, so you just have to be careful with that. And then it, the sword goes in like that. First up, let's take a look at Ultram. The paint is very nice, you can clearly see all of the individual teeth. And the eyes are quite nicely painted as well. There's some good sculpting detail with the tentacles. Very simple but good looking piece. And now let's take a look at the foot soldiers. So both of these are basically the same figure, but they do have different head sculpts. One has bandana and one doesn't. And the paint job is really nice. Again a lot of black line detail to kind of replicate that comic book feel. Oops. And um, yeah. It's a lot of detail in the leather wrap wrapping which is good to see and the skirt here is soft plastic so these will move out of the way when you um, use the leg articulation and here is the foot elite so again uses the same basic body as the standard foot clan even the paint detail is the same you can see on the thigh there two dots in a line two dots in a line so they're essentially the same figures but 
the foot elite has some additional sculpting so he's got um, forearm armor and he's got armor on his hand as well and obviously he comes with a cape which is nice nice and soft plastic and he comes with a completely different head to give him a totally different feel and last but not least is Shredder himself so at first glance the body looks very similar to the standard foot soldier but if you look at it closely you'll see that there are differences so the foot soldier has this bit protruding at the shoulders whereas the Shredder figure doesn't and the paint job is also different on the figures so I think this is a different torso as well as different belt and even down here it's different the feet might be the same parts but the paint job is different and obviously Shredder comes with his armor bits in the with the spiky bits on them on the feet and also on the hands a lot of detail on that helmet which is really really lovely to see articulation for this guy is pretty basic um, only his front two tentacles are on a swivel joint so they just go up and down like this and for Shredder his head can go down this far go up that much and can also tilt from side to side his um, armor piece is connected to the top of his shoulders not the arm so they don't rotate with the arm which is good you can lift up the arm this far it is still a little bit tight and you can also turn it around except that the armor piece actually gets in the way but you can kind of move it out of the way it is soft plastic there is bicep swivel double jointed elbows so pretty good bend just over 90 degrees I think and he's got hinge and pin joint for the wrist so you can turn his wrist in and rotate um, unfortunately no ab crunch on these guys but he does have waist swivel and moving down to his legs the legs are on a pin and hinge as well and you can lift up his feet that high back that much and he can do pretty much a perfect split and there is a thigh swivel that's hidden underneath there um, I think it's a little bit tight at the moment so I don't want to force it but it is there and double um, double jointed knees so very good bend there and he's got um, ankle tilt so you can tilt his ankle down and up and ankle rockers from side to side and he also has toe joint which is quite rare to see in these figures and for the standard foot clan figures the rest of the body is basically the same as shredder except there's nothing hindering the shoulders and he can look up a little bit further and down that much and his legs a little bit further than shredder because I think this this piece is a little bit softer again perfect split and what else is there to show yeah so basically is it's the same as shredder and for the foot elite again everything else is the same but let's just have a look at his head he can tilt down that far and up that far so not as far as the standard foot soldier as there's interference in the back and he doesn't have as much side to side again due to the interference on the sides I almost forgot to mention that these guys also have a shin swivel so they can rotate their feet all the way around and I think that's all the articulation points if I've missed anything just leave a message in the comment below First up we have Nika, Ninja Turtle, Raphael and here they are with Playmates Bebop and here they are with First Go King Cerebro and here's a comparison between the First Go King Cerebro's version of Krang and the Ultram that comes with the Villains pack and lastly here they are with Marvel Legends Cyclops even though I've never read the comics these guys are based off I really like the comic style design 
the execution of these figures are really good as well and they come with a lot of accessories apparently these are limited to 3000 sets worldwide so they might be a little bit hard to get your hands on and if you have the opportunity to pick it up for a decent price don't miss it i highly recommend this set for any ninja turtles fan and that concludes my review thanks again for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time